can say that ever since I stepped foot on Jabsum, I already knew that I wanted to do pediatrics. Uh, very personal in a sense. Um, I had a blood disorder from fourth grade up until high school, so about eight years. And uh, within that eight years, you can say I went through a lot. Near my senior year in high school, that's when I realized that I can use my own uh, experiences to you know, reach out um, to families as well as patients to go that extra mile. And I love kids, so they're always fun to play with. <laughs> the reason I chose internal medicine is because my future focus is either going to be in cardiology or in critical care. And I found that to be the specialties I was interested in because of my work experience in the past. What motivated me to go to medical school and to leave the fire department was the extreme um, uh, disparities, especially in cardiovascular health, health um, that occur on the Big Island. And um, I lost a friend at the age of 37 to a heart attack uh, and an uncle um, during the same time period. And it always sort of motivated me to learn more and more about it. During my third year clerkship, it didn't matter what rotation I was on. If I was on, on maybe my psychiatry rotation, I'd still be looking at 12 EDKGs to look at the wave patterns to see if any of the medications might affect their cardiovascular health. And if I was on you know, internal medicine, I'd be looking at telemetry, pediatrics, 12 leads as well. It, it always came back home because the you know, heart is, is a, a very important organ. And uh, to me, it's more than just what it is, it's what it, it's what it represents. I'm going into radiation oncology. So it's a very, very small field that most people don't know about, but I, I think it's the perfect specialty and it's like the best intersect of like research and technology, but you're working with these oncology patients who are so wonderful and you're providing them something really special. So I thought it was the perfect specialty for me. My two grandmas died of cancer, one of stomach cancer, one of I think colon cancer and then my dad had prostate cancer, my half-brother had colon cancer, so it was kind of all over in my family. So I think that's why I was kind of initially drawn to that on. I feel like surgery, people will tell you that's one of those things that you either love or you don't. So going in, I had a feeling that I would like it, but you never really know. Um, and I, I loved it. I loved um, the types of problems you see. I like the way that you have to get to know the patient really quickly. Um, I like how you have to learn from the attendings and be really detail-oriented. Um, and I like that even a simple common problem like a, an infected gallbladder can be taken care of in so many different ways. Um, so I decided on psychiatry. I'm hoping to become a child and adolescent psychiatrist. Um, I didn't know that um, going into medical school, but basically through third year rotations, I found myself constantly being drawn to that in my patients and um, you know, really wanting to address mental health issues. And I found that I'd have the most time for that in psychiatry. So that's kind of what led me to it. Well, I picked emergency medicine because I think uh, I was very excited to be a part of a little bit of everything. You know, emergency medicine kind of has a pretty broad scope of practice. And I love the acuity and the, um, the ability to take the skill set that comes with taking care of really critical patients I guess. Um, also yeah I just really love that environment the fast pace and the quick thinking um, I think that's a skill I want to develop.